Hey there viewers, it's Charlie on Mac again and in this video I'm going to show you my entire Transformers collection as of August 2020 and as you can see this time we have got a lot to get through so let's just start. Now to start, here is my biggest Transformer so far as you've seen in my, in my previous collection videos. Cybertron Starscream. Now, I keep him here instead of on my shelves, because, come on, he's too bloody big, like, he's like, freaking, he's bigger than Fortress Maximus. Okay, I, I am exaggerating now, but this guy is still really, really huge, so, yeah, and his electronics still do work. So let's get on to the to the main bit, my shelves. So what we'll do is we'll start at the top and we'll work our way to the bottom. So starting off, here we have the two Beast Wars leaders, Optimus Primal and Megatron. So yeah, not much to say because I've already reviewed most of these guys. In fact. The only ones I haven't reviewed yet are Magnaboss and my G1 figures. And, well, I'll get to Magnaboss soon. But next to Beast Wars Megatron, here we have Energon Megatron. Or in this case, the smaller version, which came in that two-pack with, with that smaller Optimus Prime. Now, here we have Beast Wars Magnaboss. And, well... This could be the only Transformer that I do not want to review ever. Cause it, well, he, come on, he, he's a combined, he's made up of Ironhide, Prowl, and Silverbolt. And those aren't really his names, those are actually the G1 characters, just with new toys. Now, to this day, I never want to review this guy, so, sorry. I might never review this guy, because, well, not only is he really complicated when it comes to the transformation, but... Silverbolt has that gold plastic syndrome where he's really brittle, so I might break him during recording, so I don't want to take that risk. But here we have the Energon Combiner, Constructicon Maximus, along with his limbs, Sledge, Dust Storm, Wildlord, and if I can get him in, into shot, Bone Crusher behind behind this guy. Along with Steam Hammer, who's the torso. But in front of him, here we have Evac from Cybertron. Cybertron Quick Mix and his Minicon Strip Mine. One of the many R.I.D. Sound Waves. Cybertron Mudflap, or in this case, the 2007 movie recolor. One of the many R.I.D. Optimus Primes. Universe Blaster, who's supposed to be Cybertron Soundwave. And it's mini calm block rock. And that pretty much does it for my top shelf. Now, for my middle shelf, we'll start with the figures in the back. So starting off, here we have my Energon figures. Hotshot, Inferno, Optimus Prime, which is the smaller version, Ronimus. Prowl, or in this case, the recolor that came with Checkpoint, who I don't have. Da and Downshift. Now next to him, I've got both Cybertron Thundercracker and Cybertron Dirt Boss. Along with Combined Wars Hotspot and Titans Return Astro Train. Now the front, I have Cybertron Swindle, Cybertron Clocker, or Galaxy Force Skids, if you will. The two Super Gobots I have, Stax and Psykill. Two Beast Wars figures, Waspinator and Bone Crusher. Combiner Wars Ironhide. Titans Return Topspin. Titans Return Blur. Titans Return Brawn, the Titan Master version. Along with Skytread. Power of the Prime's Dreadwind. Cyberverse Megatron, or, or in this case the Warrior Class version. And that's it for the middle shelf. Now the bottom shelf. 
The bottom shelf is all Armada figures and GoBots. So, starting off, I'll show you my Armada figures. Okay, so, here we have Smokescreen and his upgraded form, Hoist, along with his Minicon, Refute. Sideswipe and his, and his Minicon, Nightbeat. The Deluxe Class, Optus Prime and his Minicon, Overrun. Blur with Incinerator. Scavenger with Roll Bar. Galvatron with Clench. Cyclonus with Crumple Zone. Sideways. And I, I don't have his, his mini cons. Or, well, I do, but they're broken, so I, I don't display them. Thrust and Inferno, or as I call them, Dirge and Grapple, because this is one of the recolors. And the Night Attack Minicon team, Scatter, Broadside, and Fetch. Now for my GoBots figures, I don't have many GoBots, and I probably won't collect any more anytime soon because, well, they're 80s figures, so they, they can be quite loose nowadays. Here we have Fighter, Buggy Man, Slicks, or in this case, one of the recolors from the Machine Robo line. Rescue, Jeeper Creeper, Spoons, Water Walk, or one of the, oh, oh, this is where my tongue stops working. One of the Machine Robo recolors of Water Walk. Flip Top, Leader One, Heat Seeker, Stinger, and the Rock Lord, Boulder. So that's my bottom shelf. And finally, Let's go on with the figures I haven't reviewed yet. My Generation 1 figures. Now, I probably won't get to review these guys anytime soon because at the time of recording, I'm going back to school the day after I record this. So, I might not review these anytime soon, sorry. But to show you my Generation 1 figures, here I have the Pretender Landmine. The Generation 2 release of Silverbolt. Generation 2 Megatron, who I have reviewed. Generation 1 Galvatron. And one thing I love about Galvatron is... You, you can actually push on his crotch. And he makes that noise as if to say... Stop touching my junk, you puppet! <laughs> but yeah, he's got a few more noises, but... They're, they're rather ear-piercing. The Power Master Double Dealer in his Autobot mode. He also has a, a Decepticon Bird mode. The Combiner Menasaur with Motor Master, Drag Strip, Dead End, Breakdown, and Wild Rider as the limbs. Here we have G1 Ronimus along with his trailer or his battle station. Here we have so many Autobot cars. Sunstreaker, Mirage, Prowl, Skids, Red Alert, and Inferno. Right, and the last couple of days I have been trying to review these guys, but every time I try to record a review for Skids, like the video just glitches out. Like it takes a long time to upload compared to the others. And when it finally does upload, the video is just a, a picture from the video, and that's it. I don't know. How, I don't know why. So. I don't know if it's because his colors colliding with the... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I've got my Autobot cars. Next to Inferno, I have Cyclonus. Behind him, I've got the Seeker Frost. The Power Master Slapdash. And in front, we have the... My only Target Masters, Scoop and Quick Mix, along with their partners, Hole Punch and... Well, not Tracer, like he's supposed to come with, but this is actually one of Landfill's weapons. And I believe this is Silencer. But Quick Mix has got his weapons. Boomer. Okay, Boomer. I'm so sorry, but... Anyways, Boomer and Ricochet. Those are his weapons. Next to him, I've got Cup, who is actually my latest Transformers acquisition at the time of this recording. The Battle Chargers, Run About and Run Amok. The Jump Starters, Top Spin and Twin Twist. And in front, 
here I have my Insecticons, Kickback and Bombshell. As of the time of recording, I don't have Shrapnel right now. Here I have my mini vehicles, Outback, Swerve and Tailgate. My Throttlebots, Goldbug and Rollbar. My Micromasters. So here we have the, I believe this is the Off-Road Patrol. I want to say, or, well, I can't remember what, what patrol name these guys are, but here we have Powertrain, High Jump, Mudslinger, and Tote, along with the Race Patrol, because I think that's, that's what the name is, the Race Car Patrol, Road Handler, Freewheeler, Swindler, not Swindle, but Swindler, and Tailspin. And next to them, I have the Duocon Flywheels, and the Triggercon Ruckus. So that's all my Generation 1 slash Generation 2 figures. But, but we're not done yet. Underneath, I have more budget Transformers, or Transformers I just bought out of boredom. So here I have three Creo figures. Here I have... Nightbeat, who is actually supposed to be Punch. Scrapnel. Not, I'm not putting him with my other Insecticons, because come on, this is a Creo figure, not a G1 figure. And Fangwolf, who is actually supposed to be Cybertron Snarl. And even though these guys aren't Transformers, I have Lego sc sculptures of both Mario and Luigi. I, I mean myself, so. But next to that, I have these. What are these? Papercraft Transformers? Well, allow me to explain. When the movie came out, like the 2007 movie, there was a little like card game which had these Transformers in them. This is this is actually something called the Anadron Wars expansion. I recommend just looking on the Transformers wiki. The just go on transform just go on the Transformers wiki and type 3D Battle Card Game to learn more. But here I have Rampage, Skywarp. Blur, and Trailbreaker. Yeah, these are the only Transformers I keep in their vehicle modes, because you have to disassemble them to transform them, and it's rather tedious, so... Yeah. So, that, so these are my Transformers figures, but we're not done yet. Now... Here, I've got some tech specs, and along with this Transformers bed sheet, which I'll just move out the way for now, I've got some Transformers cards. And this one's sort of leaning over to the side for some reason. But here we have the cards for what... Here we have the cards for those random Transformers I just showed you. The, the cardboard ones, as you can see now. But here I also have the cards for Armada um, Sideswipe, Power Leech Frost, Energon Steam Hammer. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. My mum was trying to message me on something. So, anyways, as I was trying to show you, I've got the card for Armada Sideswipe, Power Leech Frost, Energon Steam Hammer, Galaxy Force Skids, Combined Awards Hotspot, Titan Return Astro Train, Titans Return Blur, Titan Return Top Spin. Power to Prime's Dreadwind, and even, in this case, Robo Machine's Psykill. I have these two Transformers fact sheets that I made a wee while ago, so if you want to pause and read them. And here I have the three G G1 tech specs for Mirage, Kickback, and... Oh, look at that, I was correct. They are the Off-Road Patrol. Now, if we open this... Not, all, not only will you find a bunch of games, which I don't even play, but I also have a huge collection of Transformers boxes. So here I have the boxes for Prowl, Skids, if I can get this open, Red Alert, and Inferno. I've got Sunstreaker's box. Sunstreaker is, actually an un Sunstreaker is actually an unofficial reissue, or a KO if you will. The box for the Optimus Pro the box for the Optimus Prime Megatron 2 pack. 
the box for Steam Hammer, the box for Dreadwind, the box for Astro Train, and finally, the box for the GoBots Combiner Courageous. It's not sealed, although I do still keep him in his box. So if I just try and get the shop because I don't, I don't have that, that much room. That pretty much concludes my Transformers collection as of right now. Do you have any of these figures? If so, leave a comment. <laughs> but yeah, this has been my Transformers collection as of August 2020. And this is Charlie Young, signing off.